Hey guys, it's Jerome Jr. and in this week's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install Kodi on your Amazon Fire TV stick with Alexa Voice Remote, also known as the Jailbreak. I'm going to install the newest version of Kodi, which just came out a couple days ago, 17.3, and walk you guys through it. Also, after doing that, I'm going to walk you through how to install Fusion, which basically allows you to access and download or add add-ons they call it that let you access content and the add-on I'm going to show you guys is my personal favorite Exodus so if you have a fire TV stick and you want to learn how to install Kodi you click the perfect video because this tutorial is easy simple and anybody can do it so I hope you enjoy it and let me jump right into it guys waste no time all right guys now when you are at your home screen on your Amazon Fire TV stick, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll all the way over to your right and go to settings. Once you get the settings, hit down on your D-pad. Once you go down on your D-pad, you want to go over to developer. I mean, not developer, device. Click device and go down to developer options. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable ADB bugging in apps from unknown sources we are enabling this because Kodi is basically a you call sideline app an app that it was not originally meant for you know the fire TV stick so click on on both of them when you get to unknown sources it will tell you this but it's what it's trying to tell you is you're given the device permission to allow install of apps from unknown sources which is in this case it's going to be Kodi so once you have both of those on you're going to want to <clears throat> hit the home button on your fire stick remote and it'll take you all the way back so once you get back to the main screen on your fire tv stick you're going to want to hit left and go to the magnifying glass now what we're going to download is an application called downloader so let me type it in now the application i'm showing you guys the download it's going to be how we are going to load cody so once you have it typed in what you want to want to do is hit select go down to apps and games and it will be right here downloader so click it and because this is your first time ever uploading downloading this it's going to say get free to download scroll down to where you hover over get and select it now allow this to download when this pops up just go ahead and hit got it once it's complete downloading we're going to want to select it and open it just hit OK if you see this message. Once you get to this screen, you're going to want to enter this URL that I'm about to type exactly how I type it. This will allow you to download Kodi onto your Fire TV stick. Okay, guys? All right, guys. Now, once you have the URL typed in, just like me, <clears throat> go ahead and go down to go, and it should download. So right now we are downloading the file of Cody. So give it some time to do it. Sometimes, depending on your internet, it will take longer. Sometimes it'll be quick. All right. Once you get to this screen, what you're going to want to do is go down and hover over install. Click install. So let this 
do its magic. It's installing Cody right now. All right, guys, once you see this screen, you have successfully installed Cody. Now to open it up, what you're going to want to do, go down, and you want to sc scroll over to open. Click open. So it's going to prepare Cody for your first run. You just install Cody 17.3, guys. This is basically the hardest part of the whole process. It's trying to load Cody. So now once you get to here, this is Cody main page. I'm going to now show you guys how to install Fusion. So Fusion, Indigo, they're the same thing. Click up to settings, which is basically a gear. Click it. Once you get there, you want to go down to file management manager. Click file manager, go down to add source. Click none and type in exactly what I'm going to type in. Now guys, once you have this URL typed in, you want to go over and press OK. Now we have to name this media source. You will see why later. For naming conventions, I just name it Fusion. Make it easier to find, why not, you know? So let me type in Fusion, guys. <clears throat> and then hit OK once you have typed in whatever designated name you want to give it. If you type in something else other than what I typed in, don't forget it. And now once you're done, hit OK. And you want to scroll down and hit OK again. Now, once you're done, you're going to want to go back. So, go back and back until you get to Cody main page, main screen. It'll look like this. Now, once you're here, you want to go down to add-ons. Click add-ons. And once you get to add-ons, go down, go up to settings, which is at gear. Click it. Add-on should be selected in the tabs, and you're going to want to go over, and we're going to want to turn on unknown sources. This will allow us to install Exodus and all the things we need. So hit yes and agree to it. And then once you do that, you're going to want to go back once, only one time. You want to stay in the submenu of add-ons. You will know it's add-on submenu because in the left corner it will say add-ons. Now, if you went back too much, don't worry, don't panic. If you accidentally here, all you gotta do is select add-ons and you're back into the submenu. But this is where you're gonna wanna be, guys. <clears throat> now, once you're there, you're gonna wanna go up to this open little box over here, up here, and click it. And once you're here, you want to go down to install from zip. Okay. Once you hover over install from zip, click it. And this is where the naming of Fusion came in handy. I'm able to locate it. So you want to locate whatever you named it. I named it Fusion. Hopefully you did. It's easy to find. Click it. All right, guys. Now, when you're here, you're going to go down to begin here. Once you click begin here, you will see a zip file. Um, for example, mine is Indigo version 2.0.1. Depending on how later, since I uploaded this video, you're watching this, it might be a newer version here. Doesn't matter. Click it and install it. Indigo slash fusion. If you click it, it's going to automatically start installing fusion or indigo. Give it a minute to upload and then you will know when it's done because you will get a nice pop-up saying add-on installed. I already had the logo pop-up in the corner saying that Indigo is installed. I accidentally paused my camera and didn't get to show it. But once it's installed, you're going to want to go back to the home screen. Now once it's there, what you're going to do is scroll over and click it. Once you click it, let it load for a second. And then it's going to start up and 
initialize because this is the first time it's opening up. This is going to be the heart of where you get all your add-ons. Like um, Exodus, which is I'm going to show you. Sports Devil, if you're into sports, I have a video actually showing you guys how to install it. But what we care about right now is Exodus. We want you to get you on your first um, add-on. So you're going to want to go down to Add-on Installer. Click it. And we're going to want to go down to Feature Add-ons. It's usually in Feature Add-ons. You want to scroll down until you see Exodus and click Exodus. It's going to ask you, please confirm, do you want to install the repository? Yes, install. So right now it's downloading Exodus. So just give it a minute and let it do what it's doing. Then once you get past this part, you have successfully installed Exodus. Now, once installation is incomplete, you have this message pop up. And once that pops up, you're good to go. You're going to just have to go back, 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 back until you're at the main page. And you will see Exodus now part of your add-ons. So all you got to do is go over there, click Exodus. It will load. For some reason, The when Exodus first you know, downloads onto your Fire TV stick, or you say Cody, dots pop up. But don't panic after a while, this issue will go away. Actually, you can actually start using it if you familiarize with the menus if you've used this before. You can just click into it and click a little bit farther. Right now, I know with different genres, this is this. I have to click it, and you just go in there and you start seeing titles again. And I have to click action and see a list of movies once it loads. But for some reason, that happens. Don't worry if you see that happen to you. Sometimes it don't happen, sometimes it do. So you see it's movies. But um, after a while of opening and closing Exodus, this, all this will actually have the titles it's supposed to. So that's basically the end as far as installing Exodus and Cody. At this point, you've done it successfully. Now I'm going to show you guys some helpful stuff that will help you guys in the future. So I'm going to close out everything. And I'm going to show you guys now how to get back to Cody and how to um, get back into the movies and everything. So I just closed everything off and now I'm back at the home screen. So now that I'm here, I'm going to show you guys how you can have Cody pop up under your recently recent and under your apps and games. So what you want to do is, once you're hovering over it, scroll all the way down to the right and hit see all. Now Cody going to be all the way at the bottom. Now we want to move this to the front of the list. So you're going to want to click that three bar, which apparently is options, and you're going to want to move to the front. Now, if you go back to your home screen, from now on, it's going to be here, and you just click into it, and let me dismiss that, and you're back into Cody. Now, to get back to the movies, all you got to do is scroll down to add-ons, and Exodus is right here. And that's basically it. That's all you need to know. And now watch when I go back to the home screen, our main Amazon pay, I mean, main Fire Stick screen. Now it's going to be popping up a recent. So guys, that's basically it to the video. If you have any questions and you got lost or stuck at any point, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video and my content, please hit that like button. Let me know how I'm doing and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Well, guys, like I say at the end of every video, guys, it's always a pleasure, and I'll see y'all next time. Drum Junior out, guys.